another day. We got more movie news and reactions to do. So, uh, hashtag Restore the Snyderverse fans are review bombing Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, I gotta say that, um, you know, I'm down with the whole hashtag movement. However, I don't think that that's cool. I don't. I don't think you need to do that to get the attention. Um, the hashtag is doing amazingly well. It's doing better than the end game hashtag. They know what we want. To tell you the truth, I feel like we're going to get it. However, let's get into this story. Prior to the U.S. release of Godzilla vs. Kong, a group of Zack Snyder fans review bombed the kaiju film on IMDb to gain attention from Warner Brothers. Although Godzilla vs. Kong hasn't released yet in the U.S., certain Zack Snyder fans are leaving one-star reviews on its IMDb page as a form of protest against Warner Brothers. After Zack Snyder released his four-hour cut of Justice League on HBO Max, diehard Snyder fans created a social media campaign called Restore the Snyderverse, asking for Warner Bros. to continue Snyder's vision on, I mean, for the DC Extended Universe, a.k.a. Snyderverse. Now, Restore the Snyderverse fans are review bombing the upcoming kaiju film and asking viewers to boycott the film so the studio will pay attention to their campaign. It says, although Godzilla vs. King Kong gained an epic theatrical opening in China, leading to many 10 star reviews, they do 10 star reviews over there? And a current score of 7.5 stars on IMDb. I didn't know they did 10 stars over here. I'm so used to people doing 5. I never paid attention to whether people were given 10 stars. On IMDb, Snyderverse fans are attempting to disrupt its rating with posts like the above and below screenshot. Users are leaving comments like boycott every DCWB movie or give us what we want on the film's page as opposed to leaving reviews connected to re reviewing uh, Godzilla vs. Kong on its respective page. Warner Brothers Studio CEO Ann Sarnoff addressed the recent campaign in a public statement, noting, We're always going to listen to our fans, but we are in service to broadcast, uh, in service of the broadest fan base, and we owe them an integrated holistic strategy for certain fans that want singular voices. They may be disappointed, but we would ask them to be patient and see what we've got in store because perhaps the newer voices in the mix will have just as compelling stories to tell. At the time of this writing, Godzilla vs. Kong is on its way to earning the largest international box office debut during the COVID-19 pandemic. Wingard's upcoming film also currently holds a 77% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, giving it a fresh score. Well, um, I like I said, uh, I don't think uh, you guys need to go that far. You know, um, I'm a Zack Snyder fan, and you know I want them to let him finish out his five film saga just like anybody else. But I don't think it's fair to the makers of the um, of the Kong, the Godzilla versus Kong, you know. Uh, film, you know, the director, the stars. I don't think it's fair to them. I don't think it's right. Um, I think it has major, the hashtag already has major attention. There's no need to sink that low. I think you're playing dirty when you go that low. You know what I mean, guys? I understand what you're saying. I understand how you feel. Zach's journey, I get it. I understand what you're saying, but there's no need to go there. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think there's no need to go there. So, um, yeah. So, post your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you enjoyed my point of view on this story, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Woo!